people out there in YouTube land this is a Texas special and you see these two beautiful orange boxes here containing just some very very fun items this is part of my haul from the world's greatest hobby on tour train show in San Antonio this past Saturday now before I reveal exactly what it is I'm gonna let the label do the talking As you can see here it says uh, number 600 Norfolk and Western J four eight four steam locomotive features a die cast metal body pull more motor magnet traction TMCC equipped and it has a weathered appearance and this is the box for the tender and you can see here it says 2671 RS Norfolk and Western tender has the Warhorse digital rail sounds, die cast metal body, and six wheel die cast trucks. <laughs> Alright, let's take this baby out of the box and uh, see what all it comes with. Fair warning, I have opened this already, so not all the original packaging is there. I couldn't resist the temptation. Okay, so far we see the standard Lionel. Uh, styrofoam packaging. There's the owner's manual with all the maintenance and operation instructions. And here's the locomotive. Now originally this comes wrapped in the plastic wrapping but like I said I already took that off because I've already opened it because I couldn't resist the temptation. Now you can see here that weathered appearance it is talking about it really kills that shine that you see on the 611 variant. And this is the separate box that the tender comes in. Again, standard Lionel packaging with the styrofoam cradle you see there. And the styrofoam lid right there coming off to reveal the model itself. Very very snugly packaged but still easy to pull out and you can see there the weathered appearance especially on those trucks really kills the shine on it but this was originally intended to be part of the war horse freight set not uh, one of the sleek uh, glossy in appearance Powhatan arrow type locomotives alright here it is out of the box and on track that little red nipple looking thing there, that is a protective cover for the six pin plug. There's one little pin on the plug on the locomotive in the cab you see sticking out there to the left. And then there's a five pin plug on the tender itself and you just pull that cover off like such. Now with the design of this plug, it makes it impossible to get it plugged in upside down or in reverse of what it should be but it is also a pain to get plugged in because you have to get all six pins in exactly the right spot as you can see here I'm having a little difficulty but there it is the end in the cab actually swings it has some motion to it so it can go around tight curves and the draw bar between the tender and the locomotive is just your standard you know old school you know, slotted draw bar, just like that right there. It's not anything fancy. And here we're going to do a close-up pan along the locomotive just so you can get a general overview of the model and everything it has to offer. I kind of wish it was a, a regular glossy finish instead of this weathered warhorse, but eh. It's an interesting piece and I'm happy to add it to my collection even though I don't typically buy 
Eastern lettered uh, trains. And here we're going to do an up close pan on some of the details. Uh, you can see here the 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 drive rods are actually pretty close to the prototype. That weathering, even though I don't, you know, I'm not too crazy about it, it does give the model an interesting, realistic look. You can see the cab, fa the crew figures in the cab there, and uh, the rusty trucks gives an interesting contrast to the usual high gloss on Lionel trains and the die cast metal tender which is a break from typical steam locomotive tenders is it, it's, it's different and here we have an overview from the top that's the operating smokestack bell whistle Lionel did a great job with this model and this is not a bad looking model for a 20 year old locomotive this was brand new in 1996 the coal load all the, the water hatches and whatnot and right here you can see this uh, weathered coupler again even though I'm not crazy about the weathered finish that rusty coupler is actually pretty cool looking very realistic and here we have the front end of the locomotive the coupler on the front end down there on the pilot is not operating it is just there for show pretty much the number boards light up the headlight lights up and as you can see the handrails are separately applied here we have the interior of the cab you can see the two crew figures and a little plaque in there that is driving me crazy I'm thinking about taking it off in a very very sparsely detailed and shallow bulkhead and here we see the deck plate and the front of the coal bunker for the tender again sparsely detailed but 20 year old model enough talking about it let's run this thing In addition to my J class, my wife also surprised me with this beautiful print of the Texas Special passenger train. And she figured, you know, the Texas Special should at least have a picture of the Texas Special. So I think she did good. She got a normal price was $80. She picked this up for $40.